we are here to bargain issues. For about five hours Wednesday, the Austin Police Association and City of Austin went line by line examining a new police contract for city officers. The public is allowed to observe, though only about a dozen people were present. Chaz Moore with the Austin Justice Coalition was one of them. I think it's off to a pretty decent start as far as the oversight goes. Moore was cautiously optimistic as city negotiators pushed to include Prop A provisions in the contract. Don't back down too much, don't give up too much, and really um, honor the votes of the people that voted for Prop A. Prop A remains the biggest hurdle for both sides. The police association arguing Prop A is currently being challenged in court because parts of the ordinance conflict with state law when it comes to confidential personnel files. In the last year that I attended the contract negotiations, it's, it's, that has been the biggest issue is whether or not it can be enforced. Cleo Patricic is a community member and Save Austin Now leader. This is the most important issue in Austin. She says it's critical an agreement is reached. Never before have we had uh, vacancies like we do now. They are at historic lows. There's a reason for that. We need to show support by passing a contract to be able to boost recruitment and retention. Currently, APD has about 350 vacancies. Additionally, 150 positions were eliminated from the department in 2020. If the union um, believes that this contract is a path forward for them to get the numbers they need to increase the staffing levels, um, you know, to keep Austin more safe, then um, I, I think it would behoove them to, to do the things needed um, to implement Prop A in this contract. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.